Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Blaster1987 here with my review of Transformers 3 Dark of the Moon Voyager Class Shockwave. As you can see here, Shockwave is in his sort of lopsided turret Cybertronian tank mode from Dark of the Moon. This being the original 2011 release as opposed to the you know, movie of the best repaint that came out in 2018 or the Legion Class Studio Series remake in 2021. I haven't got either of those, so you'll have to wait for future reviews to see them. For now, for size comparison, here he is with his Transformers animated counterpart from around the same time period. As you can see, even though both are in the Voyager class, animated Shockwave is still bigger. As you can see, Shockwave here has got a, yeah, lopsided turret with an arm blade on one side and a cannon on the other. This cannon is actually a mech tech weapon. Pushing in this spring loaded grey piece at the back flips over two secondary barrels. Unlike all the other mech tech weapons in Dark of the Moon, this one can actually lock into place because of the tab and slot mechanism right at the end of the grey piece. So this is Shockwave's cannon in its full configuration. Unlatch the grey piece to snap back the spring loader mechanism to where restore it to one barrel form. For the rest of the review, I'll keep the secondary barrels deployed. As you can see, he's also connected to this large hose piece here, which is made of rubber, so it may degrade over time. This is a reference to the rubber hose for the original Generation 1 shockwave that turned into a gun came with. It was supposed to be an energy thing that fed from his backpack into the arm cannon. So, to transform shockwave, First, what you want to do is disconnect the hose from the cannon and bring the arms out like so. Then disconnect the front and rear treads together, which can be a bit tricky because the actual tab that connects these together is on the fold-out heel spur of the foot, so you might need to get a nail in there to dislodge it because sometimes the heel spur tries to move with the rear tread to keep the tab in position. Ugh. Bear with me. I'm reviewing this at the time I am because it's the 10th anniversary of Dark of the Moon this year in 2021. So, next, unfold the front treads to form the legs. Like so. Bring the front wheels and such like up like so, we'll come back to that later. Then unfold the knees, rotate the thighs so everything is facing forward, flip out the heel spur, fold down the front of the foot like so, and flip up the knee plate. As MGO316 would say, second verse, same as the first. Unfold, twist, heel spur, front of the foot, and knee plate. As you can see, additional lavender spikes come out when you unfold the foot. Then straighten your legs out. Bring the chest plate forward to provide yourself some clearance. Then fold the rear treads inwards, like so. And then peg these two pegs on the inside of the chest plate to these holes in the rear treads like so. Locking everything into position. Next, bring the arms down, rotate them around, and flip out the left arm. Although there is a hand on the right arm due to the, yeah, cannon being attached there, I choose to leave the right hand still in vehicle mode configuration because, you know, obviously Shockwave is supposed to have a gun replacing his arm instead of having an actual hand on the gun arm because this just looks wrong to me in terms of the way Shockwave is supposed to work so I normally keep the gun arm without a hand. Then what you want to do is rotate the front wheel assembly 180 degrees like so then 
unfold the front wheels from the robot head, rotate the robot head 180 degrees so it faces forwards again, bring all this up so the robot head tabs into position, then slide the rubber piece down here so that it's out of the way, fold the front wheels down, and these tabs on the front wheel fenders will peg into holes around the yeah, area where the hose pegs in. This can be tricky, so bear with me. Once that's done, what you finally want to do is bring the hose back and reattach it to the cannon like so, using the same hole as before. This does sadly restrict arm movement, but what are you going to do? It's shockwave, he's supposed to have a tube connecting to his arm cannon. And here we have Dark of the Moon shockwave in robot mode. Like I say, this is the original 2011 version, so colours are not the most screen accurate, and I don't have the Studio Series version for comparison right now. What I do have is animated shockwave. So, putting here off to one side. Articulation on this guy is decent for a Dark of the Moon Voyager figure, but it still could be better because of the way that the tube hampers the arm cannon. Whoops. So you've got a 360 degree swivel of the head because of the yeah, way it's connected to the front wheel assembly. There's also some pretty strong light piping in there because of the red translucent plastic block at the back of the head. Then you've got a universal swivel at the yeah, shoulder with a yeah, outward hinge and a bicep swivel. You've also got a bicep curler elbow joint, but due to the sculpting doesn't always work all the way, but luckily the transformation hinge on the hand fixes that. There's also this removable arm blade that you can peg onto the cannon if you so wish, for a bayonet look. I prefer to leave it on the arm though so that it's got something else uh, attached to it to not look so bland without the cannon arm. Like I say, the yeah, tube when connected to the cannon does ham hamper the arm movement somewhat, but, you know, Shockwave is not always going to be likely to aim his arm cannon straight forward anyway. He just gestures with it to threaten the Autobots and the humans most of the time, especially in Dark of the Moon where he didn't exactly live long enough to fight very well. Then, nothing of a waste due to the way he transforms with the yeah, stem connecting the head to the front of a tank. Then you've got universal ratcheted hips with stronger outward ratchets than forward and back. You've got a thigh swivel for transformation, a double knee joint due to transformation, and no ankle tilt or anything. So, that concludes my review of Dark of the Moon Voyager Shockwave. I have been Soundblaster1987. Join me next time when I'll be reviewing the RPM Megazords over the Christmas and New Year, starting with the High Octane Megazord. Until then, till all are one.